Hey my loves, so welcome back. So first I am using my NYX Shine Killer Primer to prime all over my face. And before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button you guys and subscribe because I know you want to girl because you love me. So now I am priming my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Remember you guys how everybody used to use this back in the day? Old school YouTube y'all. Old school AF YouTube because everybody used to use this so I'm just gonna blend this in and I am gonna set it with a translucent powder now I am going into the ColourPop yes please palette and I am taking the shade I think it's called note to self and I am putting that back and forth into my uh, crease just as a transition shade it is a more neutral natural tone color so I'm just putting that back and forth in my crease and I'm gonna build it build it build it up the reason I use a Nick Jumbo pencil is because I just kind of wanted the colors to pop and be a little bit more you know vibrant also my brows are already done so if you want to see a brow tutorial I will have that listed somewhere on the screen and in the description box below so now I am taking the color G and O and I am putting that in my crease as well but I'm taking it a little bit lower and this is just gonna deepen it up and uh, give it a little bit more definition to the crease so yeah most of the products that I'm using today are affordable they are not all drugstore but they are all affordable so I will have everything listed below for you guys to check it out so now I'm going in with the shade mischief Oh no bitch, it is called French Kiss. French Kiss, I am going in with the shade French Kiss in the palette and that is just gonna deepen up my outer corner, you know, a little bit more dimension. You don't want it to be too flat. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep blending that out and building it up. Now I am using this ColourPop shade and I think it's called Lala. Yes, it is called Lala. And I love these ColourPop Super Shock shadows, you guys. They are only like five, six dollars and you really, really cannot eat it for the price and they are so so good I did use this wet and I'm just uh, putting that on my lid and kind of just carving it out to give it like a cut crease type of look but I love the way these colors pop they're just so beautiful so I'm just gonna line my eyes with some NYC liquid liner nothing new here and I just kind of wanted to show you guys I've been practicing doing my eyeliner because I used to do it real good back in the day but I don't know what happened to me I kind of lost my touch girl I don't know, but now I am just using some uh, L'Oreal Telescopic to mascara. Girl, where are you today? So for my foundation, I am mixing two. I'm using the Maybelline uh, Matte and Poreless, and I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir. And I use them together because I do not like the Vitalist by itself. I don't like the shade, and I feel like it is really, really cakey looking. So I like to mix it with this because this color is a little bit too darker for me. So uh, the Maybelline is a little bit too dark. So mixing it with the CoverGirl kind of uh, you know gets it together to give me the nice a nice consistency and a flawless look and also great coverage at the same time so for my eyes I forgot all about this wet and wild concealer and I had to pull it on my drawer it is so good I think this is like what five six dollars as well and it is really nice the coverage on it is bomb and I'm gonna blend that out with my real techniques sponge So now to set my under eye, I am using this e.l.f. A translucent powder in the shade Hint of Hint. It's a little bit pinkish. Um, I don't know why I got that one, but it works pretty good for my skin tone right now. So I'm just using that to set it and to set my face. I'm using this Wet n Wild. This is a Wet n Wild uh, face powder in the color Cocoa, I believe. And I'm just setting my face with this big old fluffy brush. I love this brush. This brush is a Morphe brush, and y'all, it is so, so good. I'm going to leave a link below because I love, love, love it. So now I'm going into this e.l.f. blush palette and I always take those three shades to kind of just mix them together. This is, this is in the dark palette. For my lash line, I am taking, this is a, I think it's a Maybelline Kajal 
uh, liner pencil and this is just in a black shade and uh, for my under eye all I'm using is the same colors that I use up top like literally I'm just using them on the bottom to smoke out that under lash line and to give it like a more you know pop and look a little bit more definition again and I'm just popping on some lashes that I got from eBay they were literally like a dollar twenty nine if I could find them I will list them below because they are really nice and just very simple lashes so now I'm going in with this wet and wild highlighter in the shade crown of my canopy oh my god I love these highlighters they are so beautiful and they just pop so well oh my god it looks so pretty So for my lips, I am lining it with BFF3 by ColourPop. And for lipstick, I am using a matte Revlon lipstick. It is called, bitch, what is it called? Marv It Over. I used to live for these Revlon lipsticks back in the day. And for lip gloss, I am using, also using the ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Lychee Me. I'm not sure if this came out with the Karuchi Tran collection, so I still hope it's out. So, yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.